former lawyer General Jeremy Wright has become the modern Tory MP to call for Boris Johnson to resign. Mr Wright said on Monday that the Partygate scandal had completed lasting damage to the party. Before we continue, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. In a statement on his personal website, the MP for Kenilworth and South Am said, I have, with regret, concluded that, for the good of this and future governments, the Prime Minister should resign. In the 2,305 word statement, which was once later deleted, Mr Wright said he could no longer be sure that the PM had lied to Parliament or knowingly misled the House of Commons. However, he added, the debate about and investigation into alleged parties in Downing Street has gone on for many months now, and the corrosive effect of that debate and the Prime Minister's response to it must additionally be considered. It comes after Nadham Zahawi said every MP must sense that they can put themselves forward to lead their party amid growing hypothesis of a challenge to the Prime Minister's leadership. The Education Secretary is seen as a plausible challenger to Boris Johnson if he was forced to stand down. Mr Zahawi insisted on Monday that he backs Mr Johnson to lead the celebration into the next election, but when asked if he had ambitions to be PM he said it would be a privilege. Speaking to the Jimmy's Jobs of the Future podcast hosted by former special advisor Jimmy McLaughlin, he said, I think each and every member of parliament must feel that they can at some stage put themselves ahead to lead their party, their country it's a privilege. But the thing I really want is to be able to do this job and complete this journey. If I can deliver the same lifestyles chances I had to every child in the country, even those whose parents don't have the wherewithal or have no parents, then I will have performed something truly great, as large as what I did on vaccines, and I can't do that in just the two and a half years that I have acquired to the next general election. But he added, I prefer Boris to win another term. I want us to have every other five years. In the Conservative Home Cabinet League table posted on Monday, Mr Zahawi was the second most famous cabinet minister behind Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. He has a net satisfaction rating of 66.2 points, with Mr Wallace on 85 points. Mr Johnson, in contrast, was the least popular, with a negative pleasure rating of 15 points, following the wide variety of scandals surrounding his leadership. Mr Johnson will face a confidence vote if 54 MPs write to Sir Graham Brady, the chairman of the backbench 1922 committee, demanding one be held. 14 Tory MPs have confirmed that they have written to Mr Brady, while another 18 have called for the PM to resign, but no longer confirmed a letter. A further 32 Tory MPs have publicly criticised Mr Johnson over the Partygate scandal. If his critics did attain the 54-letter threshold, they would then need greater than half of Tory MPs to back the PM's elimination before a leadership contest should be held. Conservative former Minister Tobias Selwood today said the birthday party will lose the next election under the present-day leadership. Mr Elwood told Sky News. The party is increasingly in a difficult place. Polling is now saying we could lose 90 seats. And we still appear to be in denial. It's time to shake off this partisan Stockholm syndrome. But why a Forest MP Mark Garnier suggested Mr Johnson remained more famous with voters outside of London and the South East. He told The Standard. From where I sit in the West Midlands, it's perhaps no longer as clear-cut as some people suppose down in the South East. Technology Minister Chris Philp also rejected any calls for a leadership contest. The Croydon South MP stated the government should be focusing on the cost of residing crisis. He told ITV. I suppose what we really need to do as a government, as a country, is simply concentrate on the things that are without a doubt important, such as taking action on the cost of living challenges. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.